Hello guys, in this video, I will show you how to integrate Google authentication in your Laravel application. Uh, first of all, the IT solution stuff.com is our tutorial site. And I have also recommended this post for this video. And I am create some dummy steps. So let's start. Step one. First of all, you need to create one Laravel 5.4 via yeah, any Laravel 5 pro dummy project. And then after configure your env file uh, for database purpose and then after uh, open your database migration and open your user migration file and simply add to another field google id for our google authentication uh, id and avatar for a photo and then after save this and run your migration using php artisan migrate command and then after step 3 install following one package in your project composer required laravel socialite this package uh, we have used for google authentication system so this a package is must be needed so install it i have already installed so this process is not needed for me and then after step 3 open your app.php file and simply config app.php file and simply copy this providers line and paste in your app.php's providers error i have already read this right here this line and then after step 4 copy this alias array alias array value and simply paste in your alias array into the last and then after create one google app and get your client id and secret id how to get client id and secret id it's very easy i will show you open open console.developer.google.com and then after login your google account and then after simply here click here credential and then after click here create credential i have already create one authentication uh, credential simply create here and then after click here auth client id credential and into the this credential you must be set name and your project path i have be, i have apply this google authentication system in my local server so i have passed here my local server path and then after write here your callback url which we have used in our route auth google callback and then after get your client id and client secret id done this process and then after enable your api if you don't have enable your google plus api so i must be recommended for all user first of all enable your google plus api click here and then after you can you can do here uh, enable or disable so please enable this api if you don't have enable this setting here uh, google authentication system get error message and then after step six 
open your service.php file and simply copy this code and paste your service.php file into the last i have already set here my client id client secret id and look at here i am pass here my callback url which we have used in our google google apps callback url i will show you credential this this url you must be use here localhost auth google callback and then after step 7 create following two routes so copy this code open my route file and paste into the last look at here i am create here two route auth google and auth google callback for callback url and then after step 8 create following three function in your login controller so i am copy this all three function and then after open my login controller app folder http and here and paste into the into the last and control save look at here auth user google this route call login controllers redirect to google method i have also right here redirect to google And then after auth google callback route call login controller handler google callback function we have also right here one another function handler uh, handle google callback and then after run your project php artisan serve look at here here only one button so login so we have create here an, uh, another another button login with google plus so open resource folder or folder and login and into the last i will create one new button login with google plus i have applied some button class btn btn danger so it's look like google class and btn block for and refresh look at here here another i have we have create another button login google plus but uh, right now i am not pass here any route so i am pass here one route url colon colon route and then after pass here this route auth google when you click this button google with login button call this route auth google 
and this route is called redirect to google function which we have created in login controller and this function return some by default uh, setting and this function call call this route post google callback and this route call handler google callback function so i am simply here social drive driver google and user this this line is uh, getting all the our google data i am so you i i will show you i am simply print here user object look at here now i am refresh and login with google okay guys you can show here id nickname name email avatar so we have store only only id name email and avatar in our database and another value is not needed so look at here i have create one another function for create user and in this function i pass all the user object and this i have create this function here i pass here user object and look at here first of all i have check user where google id match in our users id object so this return already database uh, database data and if you don't get any record match google id then after we have create one another user simply i show you first of all i uh, i will show you my user table look at here into the user table uh, still not any data inserted but i am try to log in with google okay i am successfully log in with google and i have redirect my home control or home route and look at here i am browse here and here my name google id my photo my email id password null and look at here i am log out and try to once again log in with google plus but this time uh, not any entry inserted in database because i have right here logic i have already um, one record which google id match our users uh, our google users object id so this re uh, return database data another create one and then after i am pass this auth user into the authentication system auth colon colon login and then after i am redirect home look at here i am second time try to login with google plus i am redirect in home i i am login successfully but look at here this time no any any record inserted in my database because 
this id also match in our database google id so return this record and and this data is stored into our auth login login system if if we have tried to log in another google account i will show you first of all i have create new window tab and here localhost 800 and google plus again and i am i am uh, right here my another google account type password and allow look at here i am login successfully but this time second another record insert in our database i will show you refresh this because my this uh, this google account is different from here so thank you guys for watching this video and please don't subs don't forget subscribe my youtube channel thank you